As Singapore is continuing to build itself physically, it's also moving towards becoming a smart city. And Singapore is looking to create a digital model of itself. And when that comes to infrastructure, and in this case roads, we are looking at having the base map, basically, to be created through point cloud technology. To use that land more efficiently, Singapore is increasingly looking towards the underground. And to do so, and to plan for the use of underground space, accurate and reliable information of what already exists in the underground right now is extremely important. And this is where the Digital Underground Project comes in. We can then place all kinds of metadata, whether that might be a postcode, whether that might be the number of the lamppost that needs to be repaired. All this can be done to ensure that we maintain a good understanding of today's infrastructure. So we can say that Singapore then is building itself twice, once in the real world and again once in the digital world. But that digital model will need to be continually updated because Singapore continues to grow. Recently, Singapore Land Authority has just completed the first phase of its 3D national mapping project, mapping features above ground. In the Digital Underground project, together with the Singapore Land Authority, we are developing a roadmap towards a reliable 3D map of utilities underground. And that's why we need to develop an overview of technologies for mapping those utilities, establish the best practices for using them, and share that information with relevant government agencies, utility owners, and the surveyors in Singapore. And therefore we need to ensure that all of the data that we have is still valid and relevant for the future. The Singapore ETH Centre is very excited to be the first to try out the Pegasus Stream in Singapore. The Pegasus Stream can capture underground information of large areas in a relatively short time and in a non-destructive manner and could be used to improve the accuracy of maps of existing underground utilities. The ability to simultaneously capture information both above and below the surface allows such data to be integrated seamlessly for future planning purposes. This enabled them to gather the data they are looking for, their digital underground project, which is the first in Southeast Asia. We really do believe that this is a smart solution for urban mapping, street mapping, and also for infrastructure data capture. And as other cities around the region themselves move towards becoming smart cities, we do hope that government agencies and mapping agencies will also consider this as a means to move themselves forward. Thank you.